This is the Ring Stick Up Cam. It's versatile, super versatile. Indoors, outdoors, outdoors in the rain. It's got two way talk. Hey, Eddie. And works with Alexa. Hey, bud. Hi, Dad. Choose the Stick Up Cam that's right for you. Wired, battery, or let the sun do the charging for you. So you can check in to make sure nothing's going on. And if something is going on, Stick Up Cam works with your ring alarm and can record automatically. Seriously? Seriously. So start protecting your home and family with the easy installing, home monitoring, super versatile, indoor, outdoor, Stick Up Cam by Ring. This video shows you how to install Ring Indoor Cam, a smart wired security camera that can be placed just about anywhere indoors. To get started, bring your indoor cam to the room where you plan to install it. Now open the Ring app on your phone or tablet. It's available on the App Store and Google Play Store. Select Set up a device. Tap Security Cams, then scan the barcode on the back. This begins the setup process in the app. When prompted, plug the power cable into your indoor cam. If you feel resistance, give the plug a little wiggle. Once it's fully seated, the housing of the plug will be slightly recessed. Then plug the power supply into an outlet. If you plan to simply sit your indoor cam on a surface, just place it at your chosen location. Your indoor cam is now ready to protect you. Now let's look at how to mount your indoor cam on a wall. First, remove the base by unscrewing it using a Phillips head screwdriver. Reattach the base to the back of your indoor cam. Make sure the up arrow on the bracket is pointing upwards. Once it's on, remove the mounting bracket from the base. It'll slide right off. Now hold the mounting bracket against your wall with the up arrow pointing upwards and secure it to your wall with the included screws. Next, slide your indoor cam onto the bracket by guiding the grooves in the base onto the hooks in the mounting bracket. Then plug it in. Your indoor cam is now ready to protect you. We hope this video has helped you set up your Ring indoor cam. Need more help? Visit us at ring.com. Introducing Indoor Cam by Ring. See, hear, Bye. and speak to anyone inside your home. Cosmo, stop it! Indoor Cam is small, like really small. So you can put it here, here, or here. Get one, two, or more indoor cams and monitor all of them at once from the Ring app. Or just Alexa. Hey kids! Hi Dad! Turn motion recording on when you head out of town. Or turn it off when you don't want to be recorded. So start protecting your home and family with the small, sleek and discreet indoor cam by Ring. Hey everyone, it's Dave from Wisecam. 
I'm gonna show you how to set up your new Wise Cam. So there's three things you'll need for setup. You'll need the camera, a smartphone, and a Wi-Fi connection. Let's start with your smartphone. You'll have to download the Wise app. As you're in your app store or the Google Play store, just search for Wise Cam and the Wise app should pop right up. You could also search for Wise Labs if Wise Cam isn't, getting, isn't showing you the app. So once you see the app, go ahead and hit download. And while that's downloading, let's unbox your camera. Inside the box, you'll have the Wise Cam. You'll have a quick start guide. And then there's a separate box that contains power supply. It also comes with this little metal plate and an adhesive. The first thing you'll want to do is remove this plastic from the Wise Cam. And then you're going to want to plug in your Wise Cam. There's an LED light on the back of the camera that should be a solid yellow when you first plug it in. This is telling you that the camera is warming up. Wait till there's a blinking yellow light before you begin setup. So while we're waiting for that blinking yellow light, let's head back over to your app. When you first open the WISE app, it's gonna ask to access your location. This is 100% optional, it just helps our engineering team improve performance of WISE Cam. Secondly, it's gonna ask to send you notifications. You do wanna hit allow for this because the only way that the app can send you motion and sound alerts uh, to your phone is if you, if you let it uh, send you notifications. At the very bottom of the app, you hit sign up. Uh, once you've hit sign up, enter an email and password and tap next. At which point it will send a verification code to your email. This works just like every other online account set up. So just hop over to your email, grab the code, and then come back to the WISE app. Enter that verification code to verify your WISE account. So now that you're logged in, you'll see a large plus sign in the middle of the screen. Press that to be taken into the device setup screen. Now come back to your WISE cam. Um, on the bottom of the camera, there's going to be a little button. Make sure you push that button and hold it down. Ready to connect. Until you hear it say, ready to connect. Now go back to your app and confirm that you heard it say, ready to connect. So hit that button. Now you'll put in your Wi-Fi information. The Wi-Fi information will automatically populate with the network that your phone is already connected to. Make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz network. The Wise Cam doesn't work on a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Double check that you're entering the correct Wi-Fi password and make sure you didn't accidentally enter your WISE account password instead of your own Wi-Fi password associated with your home Wi-Fi network. Once you've entered that in, tap this button to get a QR code. Now you've got to scan this QR code with the camera. So hold your WISE cam about five inches away from the QR code. QR code scanned. Please wait. After it scans, you'll hear it say, QR code scan, please wait. If it doesn't work right away, you can always move it closer or farther away. Try to adjust the distance between the phone and the camera. Um, if it's still not working, try to tilt your phone around to make sure there's no light reflections on the screen. So sometimes you get light reflections that bounce off and block that QR code from the camera and it can't scan it. If the QR code is scanned correctly, you press this button and it'll finish the setup process on its own. The LED indicator on the back should be now a flash between yellow and blue and then it will flash blue, and then it will turn into a solid blue. Setup completed. And then it will tell you the setup is complete. Now you can name your camera. I'm gonna call this Wise Cam Studio. Once you name your camera, hit start, and you should see a little picture of the Wise Cam right there. As soon as you hit that, your camera should go live. And there I am. So now the camera's working, you could mount this to a wall um, with this adhesive, so. First thing you want to do is pull off this back tab, place it on a wall, and then pull off this front side like a band-aid. Then take your metal plate, place it right on top of that sticky adhesive, and then your wise cam will stick magnetically right on the back. All right, so your wise cam is now completely set up. I just want to walk you through a couple settings to help you make the most out of your wise cam. So in the top left corner, um, you can toggle between high definition and standard definition. If you have a slow internet connection, I would suggest switching to standard definition. Um, it's going to be lesser video quality, but you're going, to get a, you're going to get a better, more consistent stream. In the right hand corner, you can toggle your night vision between on, off, or I just leave it on auto. In the very top right corner, you have your settings. I would turn on your motion detection. I would turn on your sound detection. That way when your camera detects motion or sound, it'll send a notification to your phone. If you put your Wise Cam in a higher traffic area and you feel like you're getting too many notifications, 
you can go into your notifications, click settings, and then turn off push notifications. Now, if you want to share the WiseCam with another user, say someone living with you also wants access to the camera, they can download the Wise app, also make an account, and then uh, you can hit share, share device to other users, enter their email address, and hit invite, and then that user is gonna go to their notifications, their messages, and they'll see the invite right there. The device tab shows you all the cameras that you have set up. It displays the static image of the last time you watched a live stream from that specific camera. So all you have to do is just click on an individual camera to view the live stream view. And that's it for setting up WiseCam. If you followed all these steps and you're still having issues setting up your camera, of course you can always email or call our customer support team. They're waiting and willing to make sure WiseCam is everything you want it to be. Uh, we're on on this company. We want it to blow your mind with how awesome this product is. So please, in the rare circumstance that your camera will not connect, please call us and, and we'll help you, we'll walk you through it. We'll, we have engineers here uh, on hand in, in Seattle, ready to fix your issue. If there's a bug, we will fix it as soon as possible. So we are here for you, we're here to help you. Additionally, we hope you will join our Wise Fan community on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Please follow us and continue to give your feedback and support. So uh, thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you next time. <sighs> Let's take the bath, Oreo. Oreo? 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 Hello? Hey Siri, show me my living room. Peekaboo, I find you. Stay out the kitchen, okay? Hey, Oreo! No! Bye-bye! Hey, Oreo, no! Did you leave the garage open? Did you let the dog out? Did you put the groceries away? Meet Nest Cam. You can set it up and connect it to Wi-Fi in less than a minute. And see your home in beautiful high definition video. Use it to solve mysteries, the big ones, and the little ones. You'll get an alert if there's motion or sound. And you can talk back. Henry, bad boy, off. It lets you see once the lights go out. So you can take care of the things that go bump in the night. And with a Nest Aware subscription, you can even go back in time to save the moments you want to remember. Nest Cam.
Keep an eye on what matters to you from anywhere. You take beautiful images of everything. Sunday's breakfast, Monday's breakfast, Fido's breakfast. But when someone enters your home, the image you get is this. When it really matters, you need a really good security camera. Meet Nest Cam IQ. It doesn't just see incredibly well, it's got serious brain power. So it can tell the difference between your dog and your dog walker. Then Nest Cam IQ will zoom in and follow the action for you. And with Nest Aware, Nest Cam IQ gets even smarter with face recognition. So you can get an alert if someone's there who shouldn't be, or if your kids just came home from school. It also has HD talk and listen, so they'll hear you loud and clear. Hey, guys, knock it off. With Nest Cam IQ looking out for what matters, you can get back to doing the things you truly love. Nest Cam IQ, the security camera that outsmarts other security cameras. Introducing Mini, the new indoor smart security camera from Blink. Mini is mighty, but tiny which means you can place it just about anywhere inside your home. View, listen, and talk. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Mom. Mom. Right from the Blink app on your smartphone. You can even get alerts whenever motion is detected. So whether it's an unexpected <coughs> intruder or the dog walker you forgot was coming, you can protect what matters most, day or night. Mini makes smart home security simple and affordable. Just Blink and your home. Home burglary occurs every 15 seconds in the U.S. It's just a sensor. And most take place when you're not there. You guys lost? No, is it, this is Mike's place? Mike's place? No, it's not. You need to leave. Introducing Spotlight Cam by Ray. A motion-activated security light with an HD camera, automated recording, and two-way talk that keeps you safe and protect your home. Bright enough to light up your yard. 270 degrees of advanced motion detection. Smart alerts to your phone, so you always know what's going on. Hey guys. Hey mom. Hey Mr. Robert. Promise me you'll do your homework, okay? Day or night. Protecting your home has never been easier. Spotlight Cam by Ring. Security for every corner of your home. Hey everyone, this is Sitharat Ring and I'm here to answer the question of what indoor cams Ring offers. So we have some great stick up cams and our indoor cam. So let's get into it. Our first camera is our stick up cam plugin. It comes with both convenient adapters for both outdoor and indoor. And if you want backup power, you can add one of our quick release batteries. That way if you lose power, you always have a backup. 
Also, you can easily mount it or put it on a flat surface like a tabletop or a bookshelf. Our Stick'em Chem battery is very convenient. All you have to do is use one of our quick release batteries and set it wherever you would like. You can put it on a flat surface, you can mount it, and you can move it around wherever you want to record. I personally really like to use it for my other home security system, my dog Jasmine. Speaking of Jasmine, let's take a cute animal break and check out my Jazzy Cam. As you can see, she's hard at work. Our Stick Up Cam Solar is our battery powered device with an additional solar panel to keep your device charged. To attach, you remove the tab and you insert like such and now they're connected. We do recommend that you put your solar panel with lots of direct sunlight. The Stick Up Cam Elite is a great option if you have a PoE or a power over ethernet connection. So you have continuous internet connectivity and power. So to utilize, you move this very nifty swivel, open the back, plug in your ethernet cord, and then plug in the other to our adapter. Then you plug another ethernet cord into your internet modem, your ethernet hub, or your ethernet switch. Our next camera is our indoor cam, Ring's first indoor only camera. It has a plug-in adapter that can go into any standard wall unit and it's small but mighty. It has all the same functionality as our stick-up cams and I think it's adorable. It's very convenient. It can sit on any tabletop or flat surface or you can mount it. Also, as you can see, there's a little blue light that's a recording indicator. So with your privacy in mind, you can choose when you want this device to be recording or not. In order to turn off your recording, you turn off the record motion, confirm, and now your device will not record the next motion. So it's currently not recording motion, you shouldn't get any motion alerts. To turn your recordings back on, you turn record motion back on, and now you should get an alert next time motion is triggered and a recording. Tap, I view. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that answers all of your questions on what Indoor Cam's Ring offers. If you have any other questions, just drop it in the comments and we'll try to get to it in the next episode of Ask Ring. See you guys next time. This video will give you an overview of your Spotlight Cam battery, as well as walk you through the steps to install it. Let's take a look at the various parts of your Spotlight Cam battery. Here's the camera, the speaker, the lights, the motion sensor, the mounting plate, and the mounting bracket. This is the removable battery. You only need one to power the device, but you can purchase another battery for extended battery life and so you don't experience any downtime while charging. Before installation, fully charge the battery. Plug the charging cable into the battery. While charging, both the red and green lights will light up. When only the green light is lit, it's completely charged. Slide the battery back into the compartment. There'll be a slight click when the battery's secure. Next, close the battery door. This might take some pressure, but you'll hear a click when it closes, so you'll know it's secure. Open your Ring app and select the button that says Set Up Device and tap on Spotlight Cam Battery. Follow the in-app instructions to complete setup. Once you finish setting up your Spotlight Cam in the Ring app, your Spotlight Cam may start flashing white to indicate that it's updating. If this happens, wait until it stops flashing before installing your Spotlight Cam. After the in-app setup is complete, press the Live View button in the Ring app to see live video from your Spotlight Cam. If everything looks good, take your Spotlight Cam outside to the Install location. Select the Live Video button in the Ring app to access live video from your Spotlight Cam again. If video quality looks great at both locations, go ahead and install your Spotlight Cam. 
If you see video quality issues at the install location, find a location closer to your Wi-Fi router to install your Spotlight Cam. You can also extend your Wi-Fi signal with our Ring Chime Pro. The optimal installation height for Spotlight Cam is 9 feet or 3 meters off the ground. At this height, with the motion detector parallel to the ground, Spotlight Cam is optimized to detect human-sized objects at up to 30 feet. Spotlight Cam can be mounted on a wall or an eave by simply changing the direction of the mounting plate. To do this, first open the battery door by pressing the button on the back of it. Next, remove the security screw and the weather seal. Press the release button and slide the mounting plate out. To mount on a wall, insert the mounting plate with the ball socket pointing down. If you want to mount Spotlight Cam on an eave, insert the mounting plate with the ball socket pointing up. Firmly close the battery door until you hear a click. Insert the weather seal and tighten the security screw to lock the plate in place. Once you've identified your install location, use the mounting bracket to mark the holes so you know where to install the bracket. If you're mounting the bracket to a masonry surface like stucco or brick, use the provided drill bit to make the holes and insert the wall anchors into them. If installing on a wood surface, you can screw the install screws directly into your wall. Pop your spotlight cam into the socket. When you're happy with the position of your spotlight cam, tighten the screw in the collar with the Phillips end of the screwdriver bit to lock it into place. You're now ready to use your spotlight cam. If you need more help, please visit ring.com slash help. Thank you for purchasing the award-winning Arlo Pro 3 floodlight camera. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up and mount your wire-free floodlight camera in just a few simple steps. Let's get started. To begin, open the Arlo app and make sure you're connected to your home network. From the Arlo app, select Add Device, Lights, and then Arlo Pro 3 floodlight camera. If you don't already have the free app, you can download it and create an account. The app will help you complete setup and guide you through the installation process. Start by separating the floodlight from the housing and mount by pressing the quick release button. Then, insert the battery with the Arlo logo facing up. You can recharge the battery with the included power adapter and micro USB cable. Keep the housing separated from the floodlight. Once the battery is inserted, a blue status light will begin flashing on the front of the floodlight, notifying you the floodlight is ready to pair. Follow the prompts in the app to connect to a 2.4 GHz network and enter your Wi-Fi credentials. If you don't have a 2.4 GHz network, you will need to create one or contact your network administrator to enable it. If the blue light is no longer flashing, press the sync button on the bottom of the unit to restart the pairing mode. Hold your floodlight approximately 4 to 6 inches away from the QR code displayed in the app. You will hear a chime from the floodlight once the QR code has been successfully scanned. The floodlight will be automatically found by the Arlo app. Give your floodlight a unique name to help identify it later. If your floodlight is not found, repeat the sync steps again until the blue light is flashing. Once your floodlight is set up, it will automatically look for updates. This can take a few minutes. If you have multiple floodlights, you will repeat the setup steps for each unit. Find a location outside your home or business with a clear vantage point to fully optimize the wide field of view. You'll also want to ensure the location has a strong Wi-Fi signal for the best experience. Check the signal strength here. A strong signal is indicated with the color bar reaching green on the far right. After you've found the ideal location, you'll want to install the wall plate onto a flat surface with the arrow pointing up. Make sure the surface you are mounting to can support the weight of the floodlight. Next, align the screw on the bottom of your mount to the green dot on the wall plate and twist the housing clockwise until you hear a click. 
tighten the lock screw to lock the housing to the wall plate. Now that your housing is mounted, insert the floodlight. You can adjust the angle by turning the grip counterclockwise. Once you have positioned your floodlight to the desired angle, turn the grip clockwise to lock the position in place. Arlo Pro 3 Floodlight Camera's modular design makes it easy to swap batteries without having to reposition the camera. If you have purchased the optional solar panel or outdoor charging cable, you simply snap it on like this. When your floodlight is mounted, select Continue and the app will prompt you to set up a free trial of Arlo Smart. Arlo Smart is a subscription-based service you can add to your Arlo cameras that provides cloud recording, 30-day video history, package detection, cloud activity zones, and more. With Arlo's Privacy Pledge, you can trust Arlo to protect your privacy with industry standards for data protection designed to keep your personal information private and in your control. We hope you enjoy your new Arlo Pro 3 floodlight camera. Now you have security at its brightest. Introducing the Amcrest Smart Home Wire-Free Battery Security Camera with Smart Hub. This surveillance system comes with the Amcrest Smart Hub and your choice of one or two battery cameras and is expandable up to six battery cameras. This outdoor security camera is equipped with a long-lasting rechargeable battery that can last up to six months on a single charge. 100% wire-free cameras let you position your cameras anywhere with ease. Experience stunning 1080p HD video resolution from anywhere in the world. This wireless security camera system features an extra-wide 110-degree view allowing you to cover every angle. The battery security camera features a built-in microphone and speaker for two-way audio allowing you to talk and listen to visitors. Receive motion detection alerts via email or push notifications from your smart home camera. And instantly review recorded footage directly from your smartphone using the Amcrest Smart Home app. Securely store your HD footage to the Amcrest Smart Home Cloud with an included free one-year Smart Home Cloud subscription or store directly to your smart hub using a local USB up to two terabytes. Enjoy basic live view compatibility with Amcrest View Pro. This Amcrest outdoor wireless security camera features a heavy duty IP65 weatherproof housing to protect against rain and dust. The Wi-Fi IP camera's built-in IR LEDs can achieve night vision capability up to 16 feet, allowing you to see clear 1080p footage even in the dark. This Amcrest outdoor Wi-Fi security camera features an IEEE 802.11 BGN connection. The Smart Hub operates on a hardwired Ethernet connection directly to your router. At Amcrest, 
We want to ensure the safety of our customers, their loved ones, homes, and businesses. We stand by our products and provide lifetime support. Amcrest, simple, reliable, secure. Hey guys, this is Basil. Today we're going to show you how to set up your Pro HD Pan Tilt Wi-Fi camera using the Amcrest View Pro mobile app for local or remote viewing. Before we begin, please make sure your power adapter is plugged into both a power outlet and the back of your camera. After a few moments, your Pro HD camera will begin to rotate as it initializes. Once that's done, watch and make sure the LED on the back of the camera starts to blink green, which means it's ready to be added to the app. The first thing you'll want to do is connect your mobile device to your Wi-Fi network and download the Amcrest View Pro app from the App Store or Play Store. In the search field, type Amcrest and select the Amcrest View Pro app from the list. Then tap to download and install the app. Once it's done, tap Open to launch the app. If this is your first time running the Amcrest View Pro app, a welcome window will display. Tap Start to begin setting up your camera. You will be prompted to select your device type. Tap Wi-Fi Camera, and then you'll be prompted to select your connection type. Tap Wi-Fi Configuration Setup. Alternatively, on the welcome screen you could also tap Cancel and tap the menu icon in the top left corner and select Device Manager. You can set up your camera this way by tapping the plus icon on the top right corner or tap the Add Device button below. The app will prompt you to select your device type. Tap Wi-Fi Camera and then tap Wi-Fi Configuration Setup. Your mobile device is now ready to scan the QR code on the bottom of the camera. Make sure the entire QR code on the sticker shows clearly on your screen. It will exit automatically when it's scanned. In case the QR code cannot be scanned, please manually enter in the serial number that is found on the bottom of the camera. Then tap Next to continue. Here you will need to give your camera a name. It can be anything you want. The idea here is to name your camera something that will help you remember and identify it easily. The default username and default password are both admin. Go ahead and type admin into the fields. Tap next and enter your Wi-Fi password on the next screen. Here you'll see your SSID which should be the Wi-Fi network that your phone is connected to. Once you tap next, wait for about two minutes for the camera to connect to your Wi-Fi network. If the camera does not connect, Tap the Ethernet Wi-Fi Setup button and follow the on-screen steps. The whole point of this amazing plug-and-play method is that not only do you get your Pro HD camera working on your phone in no time at all, but it also adds your camera to your Wi-Fi without needing to use an Ethernet cable or manually configuring Wi-Fi from the user interface login. You are now connected to your camera. Once it's added, Tap the Start Live View button to access your live stream. If you are logging into your camera for the first time, you will be prompted to create a new password. Please select a secure password that is at least 8 characters long and one that uses a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. Like with any password, take great care to remember it for future use. Note that once the password is changed here, it will take effect immediately. If you forget your password, you can always reset your camera by pressing the LED reset button on the back of the camera. To connect your camera to additional smartphones and tablets, please refer to the P2P setup method outlined in the Quick Start Guide. Give your phone a few moments to connect to your camera and pull up the live feed. How fast it connects depends on your network speed. As soon as it comes through, you'll see that it pops up in a single view window. To see a four-channel view, 
tap the four channel icon on the lower left. To return to full screen, double tap to make it bigger. To use the digital zoom, simply pinch and drag on the screen to expand and move the view. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out more instructional videos from Amcrest Technologies. Hello, today we will be unboxing the Arlo Pro 3 camera kit. Arlo Pro 3 is wire free, so you can shine like a pro and easily install and adjust your camera. The Pro 3 series is offered in multiple kit options, and today we will be sharing what is included in the two camera kit. First, we have the Arlo Pro 3 cameras. These cameras have an integrated spotlight, color night vision, and capture 2K video with HDR. The camera's modular design allows you to easily swap batteries without changing the position of your camera. On the bottom is a quick release button and there is a built-in catch to prevent against accidental drops. These are the rechargeable batteries. Place the battery in the camera with the Arlo logo facing up. Here's the magnetic charging cable, a convenient way to charge your camera without removing the batteries. It easily snaps into place at the bottom of the camera. Here's the mounting hardware and screw kits. This is the magnetic mount. This mount allows for easy setup in more locations, including a ceiling or under an awning. You can easily adjust your camera to capture that perfect angle. This is the Smart Hub which securely connects your cameras to the internet via your home router and provides longer range connectivity and improved battery life for your cameras. Here's the ethernet cable and power adapter for your smart hub. In this envelope is the quick start guide. This guide helps walk you through the initial setup steps for your Arlo Pro 3 cameras. And here's a decal for your house to alert visitors that your home is protected by Arlo. Please check out our installation videos for information on how to set up your Arlo Pro 3 security cameras.